Chile that uh, we thank Lipuku Lemaswati for a wonderful performance. Perhaps for those of us who may not know the meaning of Likuku, Lemaswati, in fact, it means the pride of the Swazi people. We as a society in Swaziland are very, very, and in Southern Africa in general, and all of Africa, are very proud of our cultural heritage because it is what unites us. We sing when we're distressed. We sing and dance when we're very happy. And we sing when we are fighting those who were oppressing us. So singing for us is what unites us. And what falls out of that is the fact that in Southern Africa in general, the warmth that you saw and the love and the inspiration that was going along with the performance is what you will find in most of Southern African people. They are warm, they are loving, because we believe that what culture, the importance of culture is that it connects people. Through singing, I'm sure some of you could not understand the word of what they were singing about. But you were very happy. <laughs> and some of you really, I could see, they could have been on the stage to join the group. And therefore, we believe, truly believe that my colleagues, and I'm speaking about from the ambassadors you have, that while we can talk and tell you about the beautiful Southern Africa and everything that you'll find, this group, for the moment you've been here, you must be tired now because you're already from Southern Africa, in your minds. You saw what is happening in South Southern Africa. You saw the culture and what they were doing here is scenes of different uh, variety of activity that goes on in our culture. In Swaziland, for instance, we have what we call a red dance which is coming up on the 29th of August, which is very, very important. And for some people, even for wrong reasons, they think. But the Swazi Red Dance is the time when young maiden come together to celebrate life, to share ideas about their youth, their goals, their aspirations, and how to accomplish those goals. If I may have time, it will take me a whole day to explain to you about everything. Young ladies, they dress in this way. Young males, they dress in the loins and the, and, uh, and, uh, the cloth. And you must have seen when the leader of the group, when he first came in here, he was wearing uh, a leopard skin. That is a very important, each dress has its own significance, but that one is very important because in December, all men, starting from the young ones who come together, share their ideas, they go out in the bush where they are alone. From all walks of life in Swaziland, they come together, they share their ideas, and they bring there the woods which was used to build a crawl for the king. Because the king is a symbol of unity in Swaziland and in most parts of Africa. In Southern Africa, the activities that you saw here, you will find in South Africa, Namibia would have their own splendid performance. Malawi, Botswana. So in Southern Africa, we have those 
cultural diversity. I wish to thank you and hope that what the group is doing here is able to connect us in Southern Africa with our European friends. And those of you who may have interest, we as an embassy and my staff, and I'm sure I'm speaking on behalf of all the other colleagues and all the other countries in Southern Africa, that we stand ready to help you in any way if you wish to go to uh, any of these countries. To those who are working with the group, our hearts go out to them, Patrick and all the organizers of the group for the wonderful performance and coordinating this event. I could talk the whole day, I'm an ambassador. <laughs> but I know the group is tired, and therefore uh, they would like to rest. In my culture, when people were performing, they usually come together after the event to celebrate and drink and share happiness. Unfortunately, I may not have that time, but I will leave something for my colleagues here for them to be able to have some drink. With those few words, I thank you very much. Thank you so much. 